Good afternoon and welcome everyone to CAS 360 Education Week. My name is Sejal Jaiswal and I am your account manager here at BGL. Today, I will be taking you through our company registration or comp company in-call process on CAS 360. But um, just before we start that, I would like to take you through some um, housekeeping rules. Now, for any questions during or after the webinar, please feel free to type in the Q&A box and um, one of my team member will be able to help you with the answers for your questions. Now, um, this training will be recorded and it will be posted on our BGL YouTube channel. Also, all the attendees will receive a recording link on the email. We are also planning to conduct this session for approximately half an hour. Now we've got various topics for CAS 360 Education Week on daily basis on some specific feature. Today we are conducting company registrations and name reservations. Um, Later this week, we've got different topics as well that you can attend and be a part of the training. As we know that Education Week is a part of Education Month, um, we are doing this week for CAS 360. However, previously we had it for Simple Fund 360 and Simple Invest 360 as well. Um, as the training dates have been passed, however, you can still access this training on our BGL YouTube channel, just in case if you've missed it. Now, the agenda for today's session is that I will take you through the company registrations process on CAS 360. I will also show you the screens and um, how the name reservation is done, just in case if you want to have a look at it. Also, I will share some best practice tips today. Now, precisely on company registration, I would like to show you first the direct debit request form where I will take you through how an RAO form is, O4 form is generated after which I will show you the company registration screen, uh, how you can start the application and fill in the details, and after which we prepare the pre-incorp documents for you, including your RA201 form, and of course, all the rest of the documents. After that's been lodged, we also help you with the post-incorp documents. I'll show you all the documents that CAS360 prepares for you, and um, how the process is done on your company registration. Now, this is the first screen of your CAS 360 screen, which is the home page and also called the company selection screen. If you see it on the top, there is a company selection screen. Now, as I told you, first, I'm going to take you through the direct debit form that is generated on CAS 360. Now, this form is something that you can find it on the first screen itself, whether it is written add a company. Right next to that, there is prepare agent form. Once you click on that, you can see the third one, which is form RA04 is nothing but your direct debit request. As soon as I click on it, it will take the agent um, agent details. It will ask what is the daily asset credit limit. I can just type in some random number. And then of course the document date has been selected. Now it's giving me an option that funds to be debited for. Of course it's company registration, so I will toggle this on. And then comes your bank details. So I'm just gonna type some Dummy bank details. It will ask me the account holders. Once I fill in this form, I can go ahead and click this icon which says prepare forms. 
As soon as I click on it, CAS360 has created an RA04 direct debit request form for me. Now, if you have a look at this form, this is all being pre-filled for you with the details that I'd mentioned on the form. Now, unfortunately, um, for this thing, you have to send it directly to ASIC. You have to get it delivered. The details where you can get it delivered is mentioned on the form. And um, you can download this form and you can send it directly. And ASIC will notify you once the direct debit request has been accepted. So that's how easy it is to create a direct debit request with ASIC using CAS360. You can just hit the download button here and the form will be downloaded for you, which you can deliver to ASIC later on. Now moving to company registration. Of course, we are back on our homepage, which is our company selection screen. If you see on the top where there is company selection screen, right next to that, there is a tab for company registrations. If I click on it, it's taking me to the page, which is for company registration. Here we have list of all the company registrations that I have created through CAS360. Now, if you see, it starts with the company name, then the status of the registration, what jurisdiction it is. As we know that CAS360 is multiple uh, jurisdictional. That is the reason it will show you the jurisdiction. Then what is the status of the documents will be here? And if it's been lodged, rejected, or we are still waiting for an approval from ASIC, it will all show the status here. There is an option for constitution as well. I will take you through that later. And of course, the options. To start a company registration on the top, if you see there is a company registration icon with, uh, with a plus icon. Once I click on this, it is going to show me what jurisdiction I want. I will select Australia here and I will continue to company registrations. And as soon as I click on company registrations, it will bring me this application where I can fill in the details. Now there are uh, five major steps that I have to fill in the details. And in the end, there is a finish form which shows me what are the details that I've already entered. Now, starting with company name, I'm just going to type in the random name. Now, CAS360 is going to give me uh, information if this name is available or not. It will tell you that if ASIC has determined if this name is currently available or not. But if it's not available, it will show you as a failure. So you can select some other name. Now it will give you an option. Would you like to use the ACN as the company name? If you would like to use that, you can toggle this on. And of course, your you can type in the detail of the number year. And then of course, PTY, proprietary limited, or so you can select that option. But if you don't want to use this option, leave it the way it is and just left it, uh, just leave it toggled off. Now, has the company name been reserved with ASIC? If, if the name has already been reserved with ASIC, you can toggle this on and you can enter the details here, like the applicant name with the help of the drop down and the reservation number. But if not, leave it the way it is. Is this company name identical to a registered business name? Toggle it on if you want to add on those details and if that is a yes, but if not, leave it the way it is. We give you an option to select the company type. You can select it from the drop down, And then we give you an option to select the company class, which is of course limited by shares or unlimited. Then you've got an option to select the company subclass as well. You can select it from the drop down, And if there's no subclass, just leave it to none. Then comes your governance. You can select it from the drop down if the company has a constitution or you know it's entirely on replaceable rules or um, if you want to opt for the third option. Of course, your incorporation state, um, you can select one of the states in Australia that is for the incorporation state option. Now, after that comes your addresses. 
Um, you can select one of the registered address. You can select it from the drop down or you can put in a new address as well. I'll just take a random address. Now it is asking me, is this premises occupied by someone other than the company? Like if it's a shared building or something like that, you can toggle it on and you can um, add those details. But if not, leave it the way it is. It's asking me the business address. Of course, um, my above address is my registered office address. Now I can have any business address here as well. And then the last one is, does the company have an ultimate holding company? like a parent company or anything like that, we can toggle it on and add those details. But if there is no ultimate holding company, we leave it the way it is. Now, after that, moving on to next step is nothing but your officers. You can add your directors out here and you will select the name with the help of the drop down, or you can also type in a name and you can add the contact here because on the right hand side, if you see, it allows you to add all together a new contact that you can add, which will be added on CAS 360 and of course, directly here on your company registrations as well. Now, in this case, just to save time, I'm going to select one from already from my um, list. So if you see all the details have been copied, which is my director ID, which is important and all the other details, I can select the position and of course the meeting status. Now moving on, um, shareholders. You can simply add your shareholders by clicking the plus icon. You can select from one of the contacts what, what are the shareholders of this company, what is the number of shares that they have, sorry. I will again select it from the drop down. And are they, um, here it's been asked that are the shares held on behalf of another person, organization or trust? I will toggle it on if yes, and I'll add the beneficial owner. But if not, I'll leave it the way it is. Now then comes your share type. We give you ordinary shares by default, but if there is a different share type, you can type in that and you can add those details as well. Number of shares, I'm just gonna put any random number what is going to be the consideration type. You can select from the drop down, but cash is something that we've given you by default, but you can change it if you'd like. And then comes your meeting type and more. Then is your last step is your additional option. In this one, there is a question that would you like to, would you like this application to be manually reviewed by ASIC? Now, if you toggle it on, this application will not be digitally, but manually reviewed by ASIC. Um, just in case if there's any identical information or identical name, you can type in your and someone will actually manually review your application at ASIC. But if you don't want that, just leave it the way it is. In the end, there is a final application where it shows you all the details that you have selected. Um, the company names, the addresses, the officers, the shareholders, and of course, any additional information. Now, either you can save and close this and come back later to finish it further, or you can straight away go and save and prepare form for this. Now, it won't allow me to prepare form now because I've not selected few of the details, but I can show you some samples. So as soon as I click on save and prepare, it will show me the document that CAS360 has prepared. I will just show you one of them. So as soon as I click on save and prepare, CAS 360 will prepare all these documents, a cover letter, form 201, which is a mandatory form. If you see this form has been pre-filled for you. You can get this form digitally signed with the help of one of our um, digital signing providers that we integrate with. You've got different forms like the consent to act, the director ID letter, and the application of forms, application of shares. As you know, most of our documents are Word documents and you can edit it the way you want by going on the templates. Now, as we know on the document production screen, we've got three options. If you want to upload any more documents along with this, you can upload and send it together to your client. If you don't want to send it through CAS 360, you can download these documents and send it separately. But if in case you want to send these documents directly to your client from here, you can hit the send all button and there will be an email which will go to your client.
Now, as soon as I hit the send all button, there is going to be an email template for me that will be prepared from Cash360. Of course, the email address has been copied already. If I want to copy someone, I can copy someone. If I want to BCC someone, I can add their email address and so on. If I want to make any changes on the standard subject line that we have, we can make those changes as well. If I want to change something on the body of the email, like just some you know, quick information, please sign it today. Or if it's their birthday, maybe you would just want to wish them a quick happy birthday. You can add in your own um, signatures, your own branding and all of that. And once you've reviewed, everything looks fine to you. Just hit the send button. As soon as you hit the send button, this email goes to your client. They can sign it and they can send it back to you. And once they've sent the documents back to you um, and you've got that notification, you can just come ahead here and hit the lodge button. As soon as you hit the lodge button, um, of course, um, the documents have been gone to uh, your form, which is um, 201 has been gone to ASIC. Um, they will uh, deduct the direct debit fees for the form and ASIC after that, once it's been approved, they will send an ACN and certificate of registration. Now, once we have um, done the pre or in corp and once the forms have been lodged, you want to go ahead and prepare your post in corp documents. Um, the CAS 360 also helps you to prepare the post in corp documents. And of course, I can take you through that. At the same time, we also help you to um, prepare constitutions here and of course you can buy the constitutions as well but first I would like to show you how you can prepare post in court documents so CAS 360 prepares all these documents for you of course your form which is form 362 ASIC doesn't allow this form to be digitally signed that is the reason we don't have an option for you to get this document digitally signed so you have to get this manually signed. And there are rest of the documents that we prepare for you, like the certificate of registrations, company constitutions, directors, minutes, and so on. Now, when we talk about company constitution, the form that we have, you can insert your standard constitution here since we don't prepare that. Um, or you can permanently edit the standard constitution that we have on the document template. We also have an option for you to buy the constitution. Currently, you can buy your constitution with one of our um, partners that is Smarter SMSF or Lightyear Docs. And um, you can actually purchase it directly from CAS360 itself. And if you want to upload any more documents along with this, um, be it anything that is um, outside of CAS360, you can go ahead and upload that and it will go along with your document back to your client and you can hit the send all button. This is how a company registrations has been done. Um, it's quite easy. It's step by step that you can do it by clicking on the company registration, filling up the form and the application form. And then all the documents will be prepared for you. Your 201 will be pre-filled for you, which is your mandatory form. Then you can hit the lodge button. Your direct debit will be um, deducted. The amount will be deducted, which is the standard fees of ASIC. And after that, you will get an ACN and a certificate of registration, um, following to which you can prepare the post incorporation documents. And of course, if you want to buy constitutions, you can buy directly by clicking on this button and you can purchase the constitution directly on CAS 360. Now we do have name reservation as well. It's totally up to you if you want to use it on CAS 360. Um, right next to your company registrations comes your name reservation. So if I click on it, this is the tab that you have for your name reservation. 
Of course, the same way you can click on this and fill in the details and you can reserve a name for your company. You've got the status if there is a pending or if the name reserved has been expired, you will have all those status on the screen itself. And once all the process has been done for your name reservation and sorry, name reservation and your company registration, once it's been completely done, um, it will come in your company selection screen. Now, this was all that we had for company registration on CAS 360. Um, if um, we're going to wait for a few more minutes, just in case if you have any questions or something like that, please feel free to put it on our Q&A box and we'll be happy to help you with the answers.